So further reduction in extraction of iron from its oxide. So wrought iron or malleable iron is the purest form of commercial iron and is brought from cast iron by oxidizing the impurities in a reverberative furnace lined with the hematite. So this hematite lined oxidizes the carbon to carbon monoxide. You are able to see Fe2O3 plus carbon will give the iron and carbon monoxide. So the metal is removed and freed from the slag by passing through the rollers. In the graph of delta R G theta versus temperature for formation of oxides, the cuprous oxide line this one is almost at the top. So it is quite easy to oxidize and reduce oxide ores of copper directly to the metal by heating with coke. So both the lines of carbon and carbon monoxide you can see it is lower. So it is after 500 to 200 Kelvin. So however most of the ores are sulphide and some also contain iron. So the sulphide ores are roasted melted to give oxides. You are able to see copper sulphide. So we are looking into the extraction of copper from cuprous oxide now. So you got your cupra, copper sulphide reacts with oxygen you got your cuprous oxide and sulphur dioxide. The oxide can be can then be reduced through metallic copper using coke. You are able to see cuprous oxide with carbon will give copper and carbon monoxide. In actual process, the ore is heated in a reverberatory furnace after mixing it with silica. In the furnace, iron oxide slacks off as iron silicate and copper is produced in the form of copper mate. This contains cuprous sulphide and iron sulphide. Copper mate is then charged into silica line converters. I am trying to show the iron sulphide with oxygen will give iron oxide and sulphur dioxide. And over here iron oxide with silica or silicate, silicon monoxide you give ferrociliate.